Hello, today we are going to show you how to make your PS3 run quieter and cooler by replacing the thermal paste under the IHS or the integrated heat spreaders. If you ever opened your PS3 up, you know that the space between the CPU and its heat spreader is extremely narrow. That's why you need a good tool to cut the glue in between toes. Uh, we bought a few uh, cheap VGA scrapers off eBay and sanded the tips of them down so that they can fit in there and cut the glue. For the GPU you need a second tool. Uh, this is the very same VGA scraper as for the CPU, but uh, this time we didn't slim it down. We just put tape uh, on it to prevent it from shorting anything and damaging the GPU chip. You also need a heat gun to soften the glue under the IHS up a bit so it's easier to cut it. A good setting for the gun is about 120 degrees Celsius and the minimum setting for the airflow. So first, well, heat the uh, GPU IHS a bit with a heat gun. And then we'll try to pop it off. There we go. So next, well, uh, take this CPU IHS off. Again, well, heat it up a bit. That was much harder than the GPU, but I think we got it without scratching the die. Now we'll apply some new thermal paste to the CPU and GPU dies. Um, we won't be gluing these IHS blocks in place again because um, it'll just make it a pain to remove them again if it's needed, so yeah. Now we'll just put the console back together, remember to also put thermal paste on the IHS in addition to the under. And now a little game test to show you how quiet it is. It used to sound like a jet engine really, so it's a huge improvement. So as you can hear, or as you cannot hear, it's very quiet now. So, a great success. So, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, put the notifications on, follow us on Twitter, and we'll see you next time.